The overseer is anxious for me to continue with my mission. Um, sorry, man. I'll work on it, dude. I apologize to the Gek for my lack of speed. They seem pleased by my contrition. All right. We are contrite. Let's get this little bastard some chromatic metal. Come back, my friends, to No Man's Sky. I'm an old guy gaming, and in this episode, we are going to uh, work on our base a bit here. Um, for the purposes mostly of the quest, it is still not at this point in time my intention to make this our main ultimate base, but you never know. It might be. It's, a, it's not a bad place. Uh, so let's see. We're going to start with... Uh, we, we are really, I mean, massively stocked up on stuff, so I got to thinking that I should make... A crap ton of ion batteries and a crap ton of ship charging batteries. Uh, these guys, star shield batteries, um, to you know, because if we get a full stack of both of those, that's going to last us for a very, very long time. And we could really do the same thing with the launch fuel and maybe you know free up a little bit of space and take all that stuff that we've gathered and make it into something useful. All right. So with that in mind. Um, let's start with these. So this is going to require tritium in gold. So what I'm going to do then is we have a full stack of gold here. I think we're going to take half of that and this much, and we'll just keep a, a half a stack of gold there. And that'll cover our tritium needs. And then for, uh, I'm sorry, gold needs. And then for tritium, uh, what do I have in the ship? We've got a whole bunch of hyper clusters. So let's just start popping these open. At least till we have about a thousand tritium. Okay. And then what I want to do here is go to these guys and just start making as many as we can. Okay, so that gets us 20. Okay, and then let's make another batch. That gets us up to 62. Um, okay, I think that's probably about all of the tritium I want to use for now. We need to save the rest of that for charging our pulse engine. So what does that leave us with? Oh, we just ran out of power. Let's fix that. Yep, that used just about all of that gold, so fantastic. Okay, let's see here. I also have... Uh, okay, I guess I'll just put this in here. I think I have more of this... Oh, wait. I have that stuff cooking up in these refiners. I, I got it started before I logged off last. Yeah, so... Let's just go ahead and plop that in there and turn all these into nanite clusters. And for those of you who don't know, what I what I do is I keep the living the living slime, I think it's called, because that you can turn directly into uh, nanites. I don't keep the other slimes because the, the other slimes, it just takes too long to process all that stuff. Okay, we can't do the two runaway molds, so that takes care of that. All right, so let's put you in here for next time. And we'll put this magnetized ferrite in there. Now, for these charges, we need cobalt and ferrite dust. I've got gobs and gobs and gobs and gobs and gobs of ferrite dust. I don't have gobs of cobalt though. So let's just grab, well I got a decent amount of cobalt. But we'll just grab a thousand of each of those. Is the ratio the same? 
Uh, no. 10 cobalt to 5 ferrite dust. Alright, I don't want to... I want to keep this cobalt here. So that means that will be the proper ratio there to make everything that we need to make. Uh, as much as we can of those anyway. Okay, so I know I could do it this way, but that takes a lot longer. So what we'll do is we'll just do it this way. We'll make as many of these as we can. Looks like we're going to be able to make a lot of them. But this, whatever, whatever this ends up being is all we're going to do because, again, I don't want to burn up. I, I want to keep a full stack of cobalt. Because we will need it for other things. There we go. All right, so we got 114 of those. That Those will last us for a very long time. And we need to do this multi-2 expansion slot as well. I think we have to do that up in the space station. Let's just run up there really quick and do it. It won't take long at all. And then we'll get started with the, um, the, the quest lining in here. So where are we at? We are here. Okay, install a slot. Okay, so now uh, the quest wants us to construct the cylinder, a cylindrical room, which is pure ferrite. So let's go ahead and do that. We've got lots of pure ferrite. Grab a, a full stack of that, or well, a half a stack, I suppose. And then, in terms of where we're going to install it, I'm thinking I want to expand this base out one more wall just so that the storage things fit better. I don't think I want to go this direction because then we'd have to do a bunch more terraforming. Well, what that means is we're going to have to move our launch platform out. Two. All right, so let's get in our ship and just kind of get it out of the way for a moment. No, well, don't hit the trees. Save the trees. There's not a whole lot of options for landing around here <laughs> without the... Uh, I think we just waxed a tree. Oh, well. Let's get this thing going on making some more O2 also. All right. Now, what I want to do is... Let's temporarily... Uh, move this somewhere else. We'll just put it down there. Uh, or no, E. Duplicate. Come on. Get on there. I don't know what that was. Here, you know what? Let's get into camera mode. It's going to be easier. Well, maybe. Yeah. Okay, now... Let's... Take you and uh, duplicate. And then rotate this way. And then take you and duplicate. Don't think it matters which direction this one's facing. Okay. Come over here. Can I just put that up? Yeah. Um, 
All right, duplicate. All right, now what we're going to do here is we're going to move. No. Move these out. And we're going to put some skylights in. Okay, let's go up. Okay, now what we're going to do here is we're going to move this over to there. And that over to there. And we're going to... Left ship swap part. No. That's not what I want to do. I want to put the skylights in. Oh, I need glass. I need glass. That makes sense. I uh, made some glass a while back and have it stored in here. Hopefully that's enough. You can do it. There you go. Okay. So move. 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 There you go. I, I generally like the build menu in this game but it can be a little wonky but then again just about every survival game I've ever played has a bit of a bit wonky build menu so here's what it is very good okay so I've been wanting to to do add these skylights for a while because it definitely brightens things up in here now what we're gonna do is we're going to move this over in that corner there um, so let's first go into yeah uh, we want to delete that wire there man I, I don't know if my keyboard's just ultra sensitive or something but it likes to um, pop out of the menu that I'm in is there enough room to put a fifth one in there it looks like there is. Why don't we do it? Let's see, what do we need for it? We need magnetized ferrite and sodium, and then we'll we'll also build one up on the freighter to match it too. I mean, we'll eventually build all of them. Okay, magnetized ferrite and sodium it said. Okay, so we have a total of five storage units now, which is great. And we've expanded the base, so we have a little more room there. Let's get our landing pad put back. Uh, looks like we're going to have to go down here. Okay, let's temporarily put it there. Get out of here, plant. Oh man, I'm glad that didn't screw up my tree. Okay, I'm gonna stand, what? Nope, don't do that. See, I didn't, well, I must just have ultra sensitive keys, which I do actually on this keyboard. Um, okay, let's get into here. We wanna move this and we wanna put it, let's get out here so we can kind of see what we're doing. We wanna put it, there except for it's not is it not doing it because I'm in the way yeah my uh, my bods in the way all right let's move my bod around the corner here that's what we want okay cool 
call our ship back up here. Nav data required. Ah, screw that. I got nav data, but we want to save those for star charts. Now, do we have rails? We have a small timber wall. Let's go look in here. That's triangular pieces, timber housing. I don't see any timber stuff that indicates rails. Okay, so we're gonna probably, if we wanna put rails around the outside of here. I mean, I'm, I'd like rails like this. Maybe this guy can do something about that. Let's talk to this dude. You have so much to learn, so much to see, and this place will be your home amidst infinity. Take this glass and let starlight flood into our jolly home. Accept the glass. Advanced shatterproof scratch resistant gra glass with self cleaning UV cured coating for general construction use. Refined from silica powder, extract silica chemicraft from, from frost crystals extracted from planets on frozen worlds. Why would I. Oh, those are frost crystals, not storm crystals. I was going to say, why, why would I craft glass out of highly, highly valuable storm crystals when I can do it from sand? But I was that's frost crystal, not storm crystal. All right, everything pours through glass in the end, but there's time enough for that. There are other things we have to do. If you prepare chromatic metal, I will use it to calibrate a science terminal suitable for a Corvax entity. Fantastic. The Corvax has suffered terribly at the hands of my people. Be kind to them, I beg of you. The overseer asked me to gather chromatic metal in preparation for the recruitment of a Corvax scientist. Okay, overseer Tackley is already making themselves useful. A science terminal, a new Corvax guest, and all just for a handful of chromatic metal. Alright, but before we do that, let's get this cylindrical room thingy made. And we need to move this to... Um, is this powered or not? I don't think it is. Alright, so what we're going to do is we're going to... Just put that, I guess we'll just put it in this corner. Well, I, I kind of want to put all the stations over there. So maybe we'll do this here. Oh, does that? We can put that in the wall. Nice. Very nice. It doesn't stick out, does it? Uh -uh. Me likey. Me likey. The one thing you can't do with this terminal, though, is you can't purchase wiring loops, which kind of sucks because that's always the same, same, the thing that we need to seem to get all the time. However, I got a decent collection of wiring looms just from ship salvaging. Uh, all right, cylindrical room. Where do we want to do that? We have some some space to build off this direction, so. We could do that. The only downside to that, though, is there's no there's no doorway unless we moved this storage. But then we don't have a nice even five thingies there. Uh, so if we build off this direction, we're gonna lose our one and only tree. Oh, what happened to our? Wait a minute. What happened to our um our oxygen thing? Did I... I don't know. I have no idea what happened to it. It should be right here. What the heck, man? All right, I'm going to log out and back in. Maybe that's all we need to do. I'll be right back. All right, it's still gone. I wonder... You know what I think happened? I temporarily set this down over here, and I probably destroyed it in the process. All right, well, let's just make another one then. I don't think they're that expensive. Atmosphere harvester... Well, 100 ammonia is kind of expensive. We have it. It's just that's a little bit harder to get. That's too bad that that happened, but it is what it is. All right, so let's get um, some pneumonia here. And it said it also needed two hermetic seals. I don't think I have any of those already made. Huh. 
Okay, so Hermetic Seals. Make two of those. And I think we have everything else. Yeah, that was my bad. Uh, but also another reason why I don't really want to expand uh, to this side either. I guess that's the front of it. I don't know. That's good enough, though. Or maybe that is. Oh, wait a minute. This is something different. Hold on. That's not what I meant to do. It might be useful to have that though. I guess we'll leave it there. Okay, what we want is the oxygen. Where is that? Oh, here we go. Oxygen harvester. So we need three metal plating for that. Boy, if there's anything we have plenty of, it's that. Um, let's go back and grab a couple out of here. Oh, I'm, uh, no, right here. I was going to say, I thought I had some of those. Let's I mean, we might as well harvest nitrogen, too. I'm sure we're going to need it at some point for something. Just don't know what. All right. Let's turn this also this direction. These things, the models on these look like they're pretty much exactly the same. I'm sure they're more or less lined up with each other. They don't have to be perfect, but close enough so they're not an eyesore. Carbon in there. Why does that one have flappity flaps and this one doesn't? I want this one to have flappity flaps too. It is working, right? What? Yeah. I don't know, man. Oh, I need flappity flaps. Okay, so uh, let's see. Now, what I was going to do next is. We were trying to figure out where we were going to put the, the cylinder. Now let's go into the build menu, grab the cylindrical room, and boom! I like it! It needs power though. And we also need to put a door there too. Okay, we have the door. Now we need the power. You know, I still want to do some rails here, so let's get that done first. So probably, yeah, small timber wall. Yeah, maybe there. better. They kind of look like rails actually, so that works. That works. Now we need to get power over there. There's a power outlet right there. What is the, what's our current load? We are actually a little bit overloaded, uh, but we have extra storage, you know, that's compensating for it with the battery. 
Okay, so we should probably just... Um, well, okay, how do I want to handle this? For, the, for our permanent base, the solution there would be just put a bunch of solar panels and batteries up. But since this is, since, bloop, sis, since, talk mouth, this isn't our permanent base. At least I don't think it is. Why don't we just add a couple more reactors in here? Let's try that. That's pretty close. Perfect. No. Close. Yeah. Okay. Everything is wired in now. So let's load them back up. Now we're using 51k, but we're producing 200k. Plus we have 45,000 in storage with the battery. Good. Should be able to put this wall back now. Oh, oh I had it. There we go. Cool. Power's taken care of. Now we just need to run a line into here. So what I want to do for that is let's get over here and get into wiring mode. Oh, I guess there is an outlet right there too. So I want to kind of go underneath with this to try and hide the wires. Either that or maybe we should just get that thingy that hides the wires. It's, it's difficult to tell exactly where to go here on, on both axes. That looks pretty straight there, so let's start with that. And then we'll run this. Oh, look at that. We can just run it right to there. That works. I don't, hmm, I don't like that, though. That wire's sticking up there. Okay, so, um, to deal with that, what we're going to do is we're going to... Drop this down here. To about there. Then we're going to, um, what do I want to do here? Get out of wiring mode. I want to delete that wire. Get back into wiring mode and connect this to there. Okay. Now, let's go up. That's pretty straight there. As long as it's straight... I don't mind, you know, a little bit of it showing. Me likey. Wait, what? Oh, are you saying that that just powers... No, something's not connected. Something is not connected here. All right, here's what I think's happening here. I think... I think these are for switches. I'll bet you that's what that's for. Okay, so that powers up the building. Yeah, we, we've got to have a switch on this door. Um, and that's probably something we haven't researched yet. What if we go to here, catalog and guide building parts? No, that's freighter, power and industry. Proximity switch and, uh, and floor switch. Okay. How do we, I, 
I'm guessing as we continue along here, this will probably unlock for us. I mean, I could go up to the anomaly and, you know, spend salvage data on it, but it's probably going to unlock for us. So for now, I guess we just leave the door open <laughs> until we can come up with a switch. All right, let's look at the quest. Expanding the base. Uh, re okay, so now it says return to the overseer. Let's do that, and then he's probably going to tell us, hey, don't you have my chromatic metal yet? All right, there's a bat in the floor. And grass, too. Nice. The chromatic metal, friend, do you have it? Our relationship is not yet clear, but it is obvious from the urgency in the Gex voice that they are uncomfortable with my inaction. I sense they have grand plans for me. It's only natural, I suppose. They must sit here alone, bound by some unknown pact, while I have freedom of the stars. The Overseer is anxious for me to continue with my mission. Um, sorry, man. I'll work on it, dude. I apologize to the Gek for my lack of speed. They seem pleased by my contrition. All right. We are contrite. Let's get this little bastard some chromatic metal. I don't know how much he needs, but... Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, wait. I have the chromatic metal. Okay, hold on. We're not doing something right. Return to the overseer. Your overseer awaits at their terminal. Did I just talk to him too quickly? I think maybe that's what happened there. There you are again, traveler. I'm sure you've required materials. Overseers, uh, overseer speaks strangely, implying that we have performed this encounter before. I have no memory of such meetings. I ask who paid them for the service they are performing for me. They laugh and claim that my child did many years from now. Ooh, paradox stuff. I do not know what they are talking about. The overseer asked me for the chromatic metal. Give the chromatic metal. Perfect, friend. I knew you would succeed. Just what I need to finish the science terminal plans. New building part learned. Chromatic metal. We have littered the universe in our greed, Traveler. This planet is no exception, but there is much that can be done with litter. Make your way to an abandoned structure and harvest the data from their terminals. I shall use it to fashion us plans for a storage container. Oh, you know what? We should have just done this all along. Then I wouldn't have had to buy all that stuff. <laughs> That's okay. It's all good. Um, they almost seem to regret the greed. The thing is, though, is if I had not have purchased the storage containers, considering the path that I've taken in this game, we would have been screwed because we, we needed a place to store things. So I don't regret it. It's just interesting to know, though, that if, if you just get on this quest immediately and go straight through it, a lot of the stuff's going to be provided to you uh, for free. Um, so, good to know. But again, no regrets. I'm, I'm enjoying the journey so far, and we're doing it the way we're doing it. And I like it. And you like it. And you're going to like it. <laughs> okay, anyway. Um, I think we've already read that, right? Okay, accept. You won't regret it, friend. You've marked the site. Okay, so we have a site that we need to go to. Uh, but we need to build the science terminal. Now, we could... We could build those things in here. And I think we will. Maybe not the building terminal, but we can build the other ones in, in here. And we could probably move the building terminal into here, too, actually. The construction terminal. Uh, Alright, so science terminal. What do we need? We have everything we need for this. And that snaps there. Let's just snap that there in case we want to move, uh, move the building thing in here. In fact, let's see if we can do that right now. Just in case I screw something up, though, I'm going to save. So if we go here and here, and then just grab this guy here and snap a doodle it in there oh there look at that he came with it all right fantastic so this will be where we'll put all of our our stations all right you guys well we are out of time in this episode but i think we're gonna i'm gonna hit the stop button and then start the recording right up again we will pick up right where we left off and continue on with uh this quest line in these base uh, building pro uh, process the base building process that's what my mouth trying to say so guys thanks for watching hope you enjoyed the episode if you did please hit that like button subscribe to the channel leave a comment share the video and we'll catch you in the next episode i need more coffee bye